All right, what else we got? We've been lifelong supporters of record stores and indie retail because, that's blank, so I should just talk. Because, um, speaking for myself, um, because that's how I grew up. When I was that big, uh, my dad used to drag me to um, a particular record store in Copenhagen, Denmark, and when he ran up to the jazz section upstairs, I went downstairs to the basement where the rock was going on. And um, there was all kinds of great stuff happening in there all the time. I never knew quite what was gonna jump out at me. And most of the stuff that's made a radical difference in my life in terms of music and is the primary reason for the fact that I'm sitting here today uh, in Metallica uh, happened to the seeds of that were sown in that record store in, from the mid 70s to the early 80s. So um, I am a long hardened believer, hardened he said, long hardened believer and card carrying member and supporter of independent record stores and anything that has to do with records, vinyl. Throw cassettes in there. There's no reason eight tracks should have a bad rap in this. And all this goodie see here, look at all these records. Look, Albia Moly, Herbie Hancock, Tower of Power. I think we're on Robert Trujillo's records. Black Sabbath. Ooh. Black Wolf, the new Black Wolf is here. Um, whoa, I'm getting kind of next level here. John McLaughlin, wow. What else do I have here? Level, level what? Level 42, wow. And the actual HQ Metallica Studio, Metallica HQ Studio record player right here. Look at that cool logo. Anyway, this is all real. And we are, and I am, champions, and championing and lifelong supporters of all things record stores. So there you go. Take that with you. Now we go to page five over here. An early memory of a record store for me is, I just told you all about Bristol Music Center in Copenhagen, Denmark in the 70s when I was that big. So we can go on to page six now.